Yo, what's up, Just Bassing Around family? It's your boy, Fisherman Jay, and welcome to another episode of Just Bassing Around TV. Today, I got my boy Hatchet right here. Yes, sir. As we are on the hunt for these bass, I'm gonna be throwing the fluke today, hoping to catch some, you know, decent sized bass on the fluke. Haven't thrown that in a while. Feels good to uh, throw one, so we're gonna see what we can do with that today. Hopefully, we get to the uh, big bags. Uh, big bass, big bag. So uh, we're gonna see what we can do, guys. Uh, make sure you guys like, comment on today's video. Don't forget to subscribe to your boy's channel because that'll help me get these videos to you guys. And um, we're gonna get rigged up. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm throwing, and we'll see you guys at the pond, which is right there. Boo! All right, guys. So we are here. I did my intro over here, but I decided to come on the other side of the pond just because there's a lot of shrubs right there. So when I'm doing my technique, jerking this fluke, pause. I won't get, you know, knotted up in that weeds, but right now I got my fluke tied up, weedless, just got a um, eagle claw red uh, hook. People say red hooks don't catch fish, but that is a myth. Any color hook, well, any red hook can catch fish. Not, I'm not going to say any color, but red hooks catch fish. I've been using them like most of my life, never had a problem with it, but they do bend a little bit easier when you're, you know, hooked onto a fish. And, and I'm, I'm using my medium heavy seven foot rod, uh, Ozark Trail got it for 35 bucks at Walmart. My reel is a Daiwa Tatula CT100 HS. So uh, we're gonna see what we can do with that. We got our food tied on. So let's see if we can get a bass, guys. We're gonna take the first cast. Cast out. We got somebody golfing literally right there. So got my boy Hatchet right there. So sorry if you guys hear a lot of golf ball hits. So right now my flute's on top of the water. Trying to get it. Oh. We got a bush right here. Let's get out this bush real quick because there's a big bush right there that I don't want to keep getting hung up on to. As you guys see, the first thing we caught was some little shrubs, a little stick, but that's all right. We're going to get our bass. We just got to handle this real quick. All right, so now that we're not by any shrubs like that anymore, let's take another cast again. That was a nice cast right there on the side. And we're just gonna let that soft plastic jerk bait sink to the bottom a little bit, just because we don't have a, a weight on it. So just let it sink to the bottom, give it a couple flicks like that. And you know, that little technique right there We'll always get you a fish. We got a little bit of grass on there. Just got to get that off. Don't want too much grass. Take a little far cast in the middle, just like that. And with these things being, well, with this lure having no weight, sometimes I do fish them with a, you know, a weight, but uh, like a weight weighted hook. But due to it having no weight, it takes a little bit longer for it to sink. So, you know, you just got to wait a little bit. But as it get in the, you know, water column or whatever. You know you could do your little techniques. I usually do about three jerks. Pause it. And these bass don't be afraid to pick it up when it's on top water as well. So I'm walk down the bank a little bit. Usually with this, I do take you know far casts, but majority of the time I'm taking short casts, shallow areas where it can sink a little bit better. So right now we're kind of in a shallow spot here which is, you know, do me really good. And it don't really take that much. Like you don't gotta do no hard twitches with these things. A soft twitch would be, you know, good. Like what I'm doing right now, that's, that's pretty much perfect because that lure is gonna pop out the water a little bit. So that's, that naturally happens though. So don't worry about like, oh, my lures just keep popping out the water. The flukes just keep coming out the water. That's all right. Sometimes that's a good reaction strike for bass to come out the water and get that fluke. Ooh, we just had one though. We had one on the drop. Yo, I just missed one. Yeah, I missed one right on the drop. I wasn't prepared for it though. Oh, wait. That's a, that's a turtle right there. I see a turtle right there, but I'm pretty sure I had one on the drop. Let's get that grass off of there. 
You got a lot of grass on there. These trouble pucks, man. I see why they call them trouble pucks. Yep. They always give you a trouble. Yep. <laughs> they get you in big trouble. <laughs> With grass. Look at this. Wow. How does that even happen? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So we are at a new pond. We were just fishing right here, right behind us at this pond. Too much moss. We're getting sick of it. So we are here where it's literally clear. No signs of moss. Probably some in that back corner, which I've had fished before in the past video, which will the link will be in the description. But we're going to try this pond right here, and we're going to see what we can catch. Make sure you guys like, comment on the video, and don't forget to subscribe. And hopefully, we get on these bass. Yeah, back here looks amazing. I just fished here a couple of days ago. It was really nice. Yeah. Nice spot. Oh, we got one. Let's go. Yep. Got one. Yep. Yeah, I saw him. That's a big boy. That's a big boy. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> that is a nice one. First fish off the fluke. We worked hard for this, guys. Yes, sir. He ate it right up. Get that out of his mouth. Fish is all good. Cast it right there. Tore it right up. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> yes, sir, guys. Got our first fish. I knew we were going to get it, guys. I knew we were going to get it. Yeah, we were waiting long enough. <laughs> Hopefully, we come to the prom. We came to the prom spot. It's really good over here. It's really, really good. Take another little cast out. He swallowed that thing whole, bro. He must be sitting right in this area. Like just chilling. Take another good cast out. Yeah, that's a blue heron right there. Wow, pretty big. Mm-hmm. Woo! He jumped out the water for it! He jumped out the water! That spooked me right there, bro. That spooked me right there, bro. He came out the water so fast for it. Woo! He jumped out the water for it! Little guy. Wow. Wow, he jumped for it. Second fish, guys. Oh, shot. <laughs> I got stumped, I caught. Oh, the stump. Yeah. My dog just got hooked on the stump. <laughs> well, at least it's right there, not yeah. like far out. Yep. It's not that the hook get in the stumps, it's just how the form of the stump is. So the line gets all, all wonky. With that right there. Yeah. <laughs> Out and got that, bro. Yeah, like he literally, wanted he wanted it quick, bro. He just doop, had it. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're gonna take another cast after that little guy monster jumped out the water. See, like I was saying, you can get those bites off those flukes even when it's on top of the water, and it looks like you know it's not doing what it's supposed to, but you gotta think. You are fishing it with no weight, so it's kind of hard to get to the bottom. Probably move down a little bit. Maybe there are more as you get towards the back right here. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's a nice cast. All we're doing is three twitches and we're killing it, guys. Wow, that pine cone almost oh. dropped on you. <laughs> Bro, I think if you cast it like somewhere, oh, there's a carp over there. But uh, I think if you cast it somewhere in this area, it'll be nice. Oh, there's a bass right there. There's a bass right there. I'm trying to get way over there. There we go. And now. I'm gonna just let it sit at the bottom. 
Then I'm going to move it. Look at that carp, bro. That's a huge carp. He's just chilling in the water right over there. Yep. Oh, had something pull on it just now. Look, 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 he's coming towards us. That carp coming towards us. Oh, wait, I'm getting a bite. Oh, oh I lost him. Damn. Hey, that carp's right there, though. I literally lost him. Oh, <laughs> oh, we're back in the same spot, though. That literally happened in the same spot. Let me get it to drop down. We're going to see if we can get him, guys. Literally missed the bite. Oh, that was a better cast. We almost got bird nested, but that was a better cast right there. Oh, yep, there's a knot. Get that out of there. There we go. All right, so that should have been enough time for my lure to sit at the bottom. We cast right in front of those bushes, so she's going to. A couple jerks into it. Oh, we got one. <laughs> yep. Yep. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. Oh, yep. Little guy. But he tore it up. <laughs> wow. I knew he had it down there somewhere. <laughs> wow. He tore it right up, guys. Casted it right over there. Let it sit for a little bit. Came up and got it, folks. I think that bush area is where they're yeah. at, bro. He I choked it. Uh, Maybe over there too. Huh? Oh yeah. All right, guys. I tore him up a little bit, but I got my hook back. The fish is all good. Let's get him back in the water, folks. Yep, he swam off. He's gone. Wow. Third fish, guys. We're doing good so far. Let's rig back up. I bent my hook. Those red hooks really been bad, like I said before, as you guys can see right here. Sorry, the camera's all wonky, but hook bent. So uh, we're going to rig back up, and we'll be right back, guys. All right, guys. So we rigged back up, but i uh, got a little different thing going on here. We've got a weighted hook on here, and I'm going to fix that how it looks. I know it looks a little bit weird, but... As you guys can see, we got a weighted hook on there just to get, you know, deep in the water a little bit. It's a 1 16th ounce weighted hook. So we're going to see what we can catch with that. All right, guys, we got a little bit of wind going, but uh, we approached the third pond, the third spot that we're going to fish, which is going to be the last spot for today's video. So make sure you guys put a thumbs up on this video if you guys enjoying it. We got a little bit of rocks coming down in the water. Got bunch of bushes and lay down so it really looks nice here so uh hopefully we'll get a bass guys take the first cast there's actually a stick sticking up out the water over there that's why i cast there and oh something's playing with it something's playing with it we got him oh yo got what it's a little little guy oh he came off <laughs> he came off guys i literally said got one he came off That was a nice cast right there, too. Kind of in the same area, a little bit towards the left, a little bit. I think we got some moss on there now. Yep. Got a little bit of moss on there. And my hook came out. I always want that hook to be right there on your bait. Tuck it in. Take all that grass off, and we should be good now. We're going to take a little cast towards the right here by the rocks. Maybe we'll find a nice size bite somewhere over here. They're hitting right behind me, but I'm not in the way, so. Oh, something just hit it. Something just hit it, guys. I just got hit. Yeah, I just got hit over there. Try to cast it back out there again. There we go. It's a it's a little one. It's a little bass. 
It's a little guy, but he hit it. Four fish. Nice size guy. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Little guy, let's get him back in there. These guys grow to be 10 pounds one day or bigger. Sorry if the wind's going by. I don't know if you guys can hear me. <laughs> thank you. We're just going to move down here some just to see if we can get some more bites. All right, so we just came down here a little bit just to see if we could get some more bites. A little bit more open area. Got a back cove. Got my boy Hatchet right here just jigging his uh, worm. Hopefully he gets one, guys. So um, we're going to... Wow, I'm right in the fuck. I'm right in the way of where they're hitting. So I'm going to move over. So we're going to take a cast out. I had to move out the way. I didn't notice <laughs> they were hitting right there behind me. Got another one right there. Right there. Another little guy. They're tiny here. They're real little here. <laughs> I love the dinks though, man. Got a fish. Fifth fish. We're going to throw him back in there. Thank you. Thank you. Right there off the flute, guys. Even the little small one gets them. I'm going to throw it back out there again. Hopefully, they get bigger here. Hopefully, hopefully. They're just attacking this bait, guys. They're like running it down. As soon as I throw it out there, they're on it. I missed a couple here. Got a couple already. We got two so far at this location. Make sure that hook is right back in there. It got a little bit windy since the sun started to, you know, duck down a little bit. Oh, he did? Wow. Yeah, I had a, I caught two so far. Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, he came off. Yeah, he just came off. Jesus. They're playing today. Can't believe that. Let's see if we could get them again. They're out here somewhere. He hit it too. Ooh, there we go. The little guy. <laughs> wow. Little guy came and thrown down on it. I believe this is the sixth fish so far. Wow. Little guy crammed on it. Let's get him back in there. Thank you. Thank you. Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy, Fisherman Jay, and that is it for today's video. I've caught six fish so far. I'm going to still continue to fish, but just not on camera because my phone is about to die right now. But um, my boy Hatchet right there. You're going to see him in more videos coming soon. Turns out my buddy Hatchet, he got a fish. Finally. Yes, sir. <laughs> Off camera, but my boy finally got a fish, man. Finally, it's about time. Yes, no, sir. Not a bad size. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on your boy's video. And we'll see you guys on another adventure. Boom.